All right, let's get started with this very simple drawing. So basically a triangle with a little curly Q and a zigzag on the bottom and a nose just below it with a mustache <laughs> and half a circle for your beard with a little uh, curly Q on the end. Very simple, anyone can do this. Uh, the shoes are basically a kidney shape or a jelly bean shape and then little cuffs stuck to the side of the beard for the arms and mitts. Uh, I'm going to have mine holding a candy cane and a uh, little star hanging off of his hat. You could put uh, Christmas bells or uh, lights, whatever you want. He could be holding a flower, he could be holding a shovel. You change it up for the season too, why not? I'm gonna have little um, berries in his hat and this is some layers for the tree. And you could also change this for fall. You could put leaves in his hat or birds in his hat, whatever you want to do. It's endless. Just have fun with it. So I'm going to be doing uh, wet into wet mostly with this with watercolor. You can use whatever you have. It can be done in any kind of medium. Uh, I'm using uh, silver black velvet number six paintbrush and I like to just dab the paint into the water and watch that paint just dance around. I've got a couple different colors of green here. Use the green that you have. This one is a mix of uh, two different types of Daniel Smith and uh, Leaf Green by Da Vinci. But use what you have. Don't go out and buy this. Just use what you have. Uh, this is a mix of burnt umber and Payne's Gray <clears throat> with a lot of water to make this uh, gray color. And it's basically painting in the areas where there would be shadows. So the beard would have on the bottom, around the sides, under the nose. And then um, I mixed a little bit of a thicker consistency and used that for the cuffs. And the mitts, you can use whatever color you want. Uh, the nose is just uh, a combination of uh, red, so whatever red you have, and yellow ochre. So I just used uh, kind of an aqua color. You could change yours up. You could have designs on yours. The shoes are just a sienna color or a sepia color would work too. And I keep it fairly light with a fair amount of water in these paints just so that uh, I'm able to see the line work underneath. Uh, the shoes have a tread so I want to see um, that work. Uh, as far as the candy cane, you could use a colored pencil or a pen, a marker. If you find it difficult making uh, really small marks, by all means, use what is easier for you. A little bit of um, shimmer for the star in gold. 
and then a darker consistency of that uh, Daniel Smith uh, Appetite, Green Appetite Genuine, I believe it's called. Real nice color. That's basically just doing the shadowed areas of the uh, layers. Little pen work. Make sure your paper is good and dry when you do the pen work. And I'm going to do a little design on the bottom of his shoes, a little snowflake pattern. And then just basically use the pen work to emphasize areas like shadowed areas or if maybe if the gloves are too light, they're kind of disappearing in the background, just uh, do a little bit of outlining. It doesn't have to be a complete outline. It could be sketchy looking too. Uh, play with it and see what you like to do. I also like to use whatever is going to make this painting easier to do. So because of the darker green in the hat, I end up getting a Posca marker. So it's an acrylic paint marker to use for the berries. So don't struggle with stuff if it's not working. Figure out what would go on it. If it can be easier by using something else, by all means use it. Now if you really don't want to draw this, I do have the drawing available for all my Patreons and my YouTube subscribers. So if you're interested in uh, seeing all the printables, you can check that out down below. There's a link or I'll leave a link in the um, corner. Now I've got a ton of stamps too, so I'm going to uh, find all my sentiment stamps and use this for my card. I don't like my handwriting, so I prefer using a stamp, but if you like your handwriting, then write something on it for the card face. And that's it. How simple and quick and easy and what a cute card. So I hope you'll give yours a go and enjoy the season everybody. Stay creative.